Hi everyone, I'm Quinn from Archer and Olive's design team, and as you can maybe tell from where I'm sitting, I happen to have a lot of plants. I've always wanted to start a plant journal where I keep track of all the plants I have, all the information about them, and also to track when I water them, when I fertilize them, when I repot things, everything like that. So I actually recently got the uh, a B5 journal from the Plant Based Bride collection, and so I uh, wanted to start my plant journal and I made a few trackers and I kind of wanted to show y'all what I did. Um, I used a few ones that I've used before and I tried out a few new ones uh, that I will try in the future. So if you would like to look at them and maybe try out some of the plant trackers, feel free to watch the rest of this video, get out your journal, maybe a cup of tea, anything like that, and let's go ahead and get started. To begin, we're going to talk about supplies. So I have this beautiful B5 size journal from the Plant Based Bride Collection, and I'm using the Jewel Collection of Calligraphs. I'm also using just some handy dandy black pins, and I have some stickers to decorate with. So I'm putting these in the back of my journal, just so that I can access them easily, as this is going to be my plant journal, and I want to put this at the back so that in the front I can have all of the plants that I have. So this first is a this first spread is a plant care spread and a plant care tracker. So you can track multiple things. I'm tracking five different things that I'll talk about in a second. But on the top, I have all the months and I actually have enough room to fit two years worth. So this is a very space efficient spread. And then on the left, I have all the days of the month. And so as you can see in the bottom, I have a key. And so these are the things I'm tracking. I'm using the indigo color to track the watering. I'm using moss green to track the uh, fertilizing because my fertilizer is moss green. As you can see, I'm having some focus trouble. But I'm using the mauve pearl to track turning plants, and I'm using the mustard color to track uh, when I cut off dead leaves because the mustard kind of mimics the yellow of the dead leaves. Then I use the dusty rose for repotting. And so for this tracker, as I'm showing you here, you can color in the day that you did the action, which in this case is fertilizing, watering, turning plants, and then you just fill it in uh, to show that you did it that day. And like I showed with the indigo and moth purple, you can do multiple days and multiple actions in one day and show it through there. So if this isn't really your style, I've also created a other spread on the left side of the page. I call it a watering tracker, but it tracks the same things as the plant care tracker. So it is much more in a monthly setup. And so these are what you would see in the typical monthly tracker where each month is written out with the days underneath each one. And then similar to the tracker on the right, you can fill in each square for each day. Uh, if you don't want to do a yearly spread, I'm doing one in my journal, in the back of my journal, simply because this is something I'm going to be referencing a lot and this is a specific plant journal. But if you're just doing it in your daily, you can just have one each month and then you can track it that way. Uh, I just suggest keeping a key handy so remember which color represents which one. So uh, I'm filling in each day, which is going to take a little bit, but I want to take this moment to just say I do have a lot of plants, so I'm hoping that these will be useful. I haven't used very many of these trackers before, and so I'm testing out along with you. Also, I do believe I forgot to say the main color I'm using for these spreads is the olive color of the jewel collection. I just felt like it was the most plant looking and I really like how dark it is. Um, so yeah, as you fill out each of the months, you will uh, see far more colors on this. So it'll actually, I think in the end, come out to be a very beautiful spread. So I'm filling out the key and then I'm gonna decorate it with stickers again. I usually do watercolors or drawings in my journals, but I wanted to keep it simple and fast just because sometimes the simplicity is nice. Plus not everybody enjoys using watercolors in their journal. So this is a monthly option for those of you who have plants that don't get all watered on the same day or have different watering needs. So you can actually list out the individual plants and what you do for them each month. So this is for your more finicky plants, for the plants that just need a little bit more care, or for those of you who don't have quite as many plants as I do. And so, uh, yeah, you can just fill it out with the plant names on the left and then the days on the right and then fill it in as you need. As you can see, I fertilize twice a month, and so I just went ahead and made that whole column green to make it easier for me to remember which days I'm going to fertilize that month. I'm decorating with a few more stickers. And I'm most excited, honestly, for this next spread because I like to propagate a lot of my plants. I have a lot of vines, and so 
keeping track of my propagations I think is going to be the most useful for me. So on the left I have the plant name and then the number of cuttings I have, if I use rooting powder or not, the start date that I put them in the water, the root date when I first see roots, and the plant date. And so I am hoping to get the most use out of this one. Also, the sticker you just saw me use was from a, a woman called Home by Faith, that's her company name, and she has the most cute plant themed stickers that I could find. Also, I had a lot of trouble with my focus on here, so I apologize for all that just that went down. Uh, these cute purple stickers are from the Little Green Press, and she makes these beautiful uh, drawings of plants, and I just wanted to use them because I felt like the purple went so well with all the greens that I'm using. So this is a schedule that I created for myself because as I went around today and counted, I have over 50 plants inside my house, not including the ones outside. So I divided my whole house by rooms and sections so that I can just create a list of actions I need to do. So things that aren't weekly. So things like cutting off dead leaves, repotting, propagating, uh, adding soil, checking for bugs, things that can wait a little bit longer, but I want to make sure I get for each of my plants. I'll just split it off into each room and then each week I'll choose a room and then I'll create this list in my weekly spread. So yeah, those are all of my spreads. I hope that you these will be useful for you. And if you do end up recreating any of them, feel free to tag me at Sequins Art and tag Archer and Olive as well. I uh, also encourage you to look at the blog post based off of this that's in the link in the description down below. And I've also included printables of all these spreads so that you can recreate them yourselves and decorate them yourselves. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.